there's a pathway. Uh, there are things that we can do that we know will, will make a difference. Governor Mike DeWine says more law enforcement agencies in the Buckeye State need to comply with standards set by the Ohio Collaborative. The standards are developed by people representing the community and law enforcement and include use of force, hiring and recruitment, body camera use, bias-free policing, and vehicle pursuits. A number of local agencies were noted as not certified. In Warren County, Mason Police was largest on the list. However, police there say they've been certified by the Commission on accreditation for law enforcement agencies for nearly three decades. They say those standards are more extensive. In Hamilton County, Fairfax police also made the list as not certified. The chief there says the department uses a service called Lexapol to verify policies meet state guidelines. He also adds they're rewriting policies to meet the collaborative. Madeira police also made the list for not being certified. The chief there says they also use the Lexapol service and are four months in to newly rewritten policies. He says they have proofs of compliance and checks in place to trigger reviews for officers showing issues. Still, state leaders say every agency not in compliance specifically with the Ohio Collaborative will be called. And it doesn't mean that, you know, in whatever village that is or town that is, that the police department's not doing a good job. This is just one more thing they can do. All right, and something that I should emphasize tonight, if it wasn't clear in that report, is that this is all a work in progress from all of those departments that I talked with tonight. One of them I talked with is on the list of being certified. That was the Springfield Township Police Department, which is Kalia accredited. He also, the chief there, told me that it was clear and important to him that they also be certified with the Ohio Collaborative. He says that's important to his community. Reporting live at District 1 headquarters, Dan Griffin, WLWT News 5.